What's good? I hope everybody's smooth. I'm definitely smooth. And we are here for another segment of What's the Play? I'm your host, Be Rich. Here in sunny Winter Haven, Florida, we are on location at Scott Orthodontics with a smile specialist. And today, we'll get a chance to talk with Dr. Jonathan Scott, get a sneak peek of his playbook for success, and we'll get a secret to how he keeps everyone around him smiling. The Be Rich Project was designed to help players of all sports, golf, lacrosse, baseball, basketball, you name it. Our mission is to encourage you to have a plan for yourself to be something other than just an athlete. What does it mean to be rich? Well, in today's segment, we'll find out what it means to be rich in community. You all stay close. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. My man, how are you? Great. Listen, thank you so much. This will air um, on a segment we call What's the Play? And it's our way of connecting with the community, business leaders, those who have success in a number of different forms and fashion. And we like to show athletes that we work with some of the plays you may have run in your life to get to where you are, so. Thank you for having me and let me be a part of your project. I think what you do for our community is amazing. So any way I can support, I'm there for you. I appreciate that, I do. How long have you been doing orthodontics? Sure, I graduated from my residency program in 2018. So I've been practicing since then. Wow, yeah, um, and your dad? He was the predecessor, so he, he led the way? He led the way. He's been now, it's probably been 35 years for him in practice. That's a long he's time. been doing it a long time. So you certainly are the smile specialist. Yeah, we've got a lot of experience yeah. in it, and it's what we focus on, and all we do is create beautiful smiles and healthy bites. So before that, as a kid, did you have any aspirations at being a sports figure? And if you did, who inspired you? I did. I, I played a lot of hockey growing up, and I always enjoyed it. And I and at that time, this is a long time ago, but Wayne Gretzky, he was the man, and probably still is, as far as records are concerned. Yeah. And so I always wanted to be like Wayne Gretzky. And he was number ninety nine, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I remember watching Sports Center early morning and, yeah. and Gretzky doing his thing. Yeah. How did you get into hockey, though? How how that happened? Here in Lakeland and Winter Haven and Polk County, there are not a lot of opportunities for, for ice hockey per se, but a roller hockey rink uh, league started with played against sports. Wow. And so I met a, um, a coach there who had played professional hockey, hockey in Canada and he was on the lightning. And so he was willing to coach us. And so we got into it there and went to a few of his games and it, and it just, it just drew me in the the physicality of it the mental toughness it took i i really enjoyed the sport that's awesome what position did you play i played in the beginning i um, played as a um, forward and then i was in the goal near the end of my my career yeah yeah how long did you play i played about nine years that's until cool. about the middle of high school so during that time frame when do you start to recognize that hockey may not be the way you, you make a living for yourself? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I think as I was probably a sophomore in high school, I was starting to think about college and think about what was I going to do after high school? And would hockey or sports have a part in that for me? And one of the concerns I had was that if I pursue hockey, would it take me where I want to go, would I be able to do that as long as I need to do it? Would that be the right path for me? And I determined that at that time it wasn't. So you didn't stop loving it. I think that's the one thing that no. I think about was that um, I had injuries early on, you know, trying to play basketball. Mm -hmm. And so you try to stop playing, you try to stop thinking about it. But the fact is the love's still there. So it seems like in your case, same thing, that you never stopped loving hockey. Um, but you had a different understanding about what it meant for you in your life. 
exactly. Love it, and respect it, uh, enjoy it. But for me, as a part of my life, it's a more became more of a pastime than a, than a direction. Sure, sure. Yeah. And so you're a gator. I go gators. Yes, I, I know. As <laughs> a Seminole, that's hard to say, but <laughs> <laughs> listen, like two bits, four bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. Awesome programs. It is. It really is. Um, and I have an older sister who was at UF for a period of time. So I've had my experience there in the swamp. Um, great, great, uh, as well as there in the, um, is it the O'Connell? The, uh, the yeah, basketball? O'Connell Center. Yeah, yeah. So great, I mean, great programs mm -hmm. across the board. Um, how do you get to UF? How do you decide on UF as your place for school? For me, it was close to home. I know that it's a, a great program with a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of networking ability there that's got a strong educational and sports um, options. So that was, for me, that was the choice. For another kid or young person that's watching this video, oftentimes they think about going to powerhouse schools, D1 institutions to pursue their sport. Mm -hmm. Your advice on that, maybe if you were there, maybe you saw other athletes that were there during your same, same time frame. And right. Um, I'm sure you're able to see just socially other challenges or just what they had to endure while there. Right. So would you think that just because it's a powerhouse school or a Division I school that an athlete should pursue that? Or do you feel as though they should find a place that's best for them and what they see long term for their life? I had a great experience at UF. I was there when Tebow was there. Nice. And we had a lot of big wins in both football and basketball. And so I got to see a lot of that, you know, that joy and, and that, that triumph. And I, but I think that being drawn to the big program is, is natural. But sometimes we've got to realize the opportunities that are in front of us that may not at the moment seem like the most glamorous or the most important, but set us up for future uh, opportunities that may be even better than, than reaching out for that D1. So I think the, the bird in hand is, is a true a true win here. If, yeah. if somebody's got an opportunity to play sports and get an education and excel, then they're going to be able to carry that opportunity forward and maybe end up you know, in, the, in the major leagues or at a big school. Sure. I like that. Final thought. So the Be Rich Project, our passion is in supporting players and parents, no matter their sport. Our main mission is to encourage them to come up with a plan to be something other than an athlete. Your thoughts about our mission and its, its reach and what it's trying to do. I think what you do for our community is phenomenal. I think the Be Rich Project, it embodies so much more than, than just the, the sport giving people the opportunity to learn about not only how to network, how to become involved, how to, to enter into sports should they go that direction, but to teach them that there's so much more to life than just what you have on and off the field or the court, it's critical. I think the opportunity that the Be Rich provides their members and students and, and participants is, is, is brilliant and it's wonderful for our community. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. So if we had to recap, if we were to take a sneak peek inside your playbook uh, for success in life, real organically, what would be some plays you would suggest uh, a, a player to run to get to where they, is there a flea flicker in there? Is there a Hail, Hail Mary in there? Is there a, you know, a draw? Is there yeah. a, you know, swing for the, what, you know, yeah. what would you say should be just organic, you know, what do you think you yeah, share out of I your... I think that um, any athlete that you're mentoring already knows that it's what brings them to the top is their, the time they put in and the effort they put in. And so it's like that in any aspect of life. I truly believe that. Uh, if it, whether it's just in studies, taking the opportunity that, that a scholarship to play sports provides with an educational opportunity, and whether that's focusing on those studies and putting the time and effort in there to achieve good grades, to meet and network with uh, faculty, other students. I think that, that using what you already know about discipline is, is the biggest secret that shouldn't even be a secret. It's, it's, it's just a matter of, of doing it. So 
dedication and perseverance in all aspects of your life. It will put you where you want to be. That's the play. That's the play. We'll see y'all next time.